if I was going to determine, what I'm going to ask you guys is, first of all, let's determine, does these three angles, does this produce a triangle? Yeah. All right? So yeah, we can just add them up. You can just do this very quickly, right? You don't need to like 8 plus, 5 plus 8, bigger than 10, right? 8 plus 10, bigger than 5. 5 plus 10, bigger than 8, right? All right, it's a triangle. Then I'm going to say, well, what is then, um, then I'm going to ask is, is an acute right or obtuse? So to do that, we need to first determine what the hypotenuse is, right? So remember, we've gone with our A, B, and C. C, we always said, represents our what? Hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse, compared to the other sides of the triangle, is supposed to be the? Right. Across from the right angle, right? Oh. So it's across from the right angle, but it's technically supposed to be our longest leg, right? If it was a right triangle, we would say that this is our hypotenuse, because it's the longest side of the triangle. All right? So I take these two and I label, I'll just label this, pretend this is C, and I'll take this as my A and this is my B. It doesn't really matter how your legs are. You can transfer them anyway. So now I need to determine, is this A squared plus B squared greater than C squared? Is A squared plus B squared less than C squared? Or is A squared plus B squared equal to C squared? Remember, if it's equal, then it's what type of triangle? That's great. Right. If it's less than, uh, it's obtuse. obtuse. Oh. <laughs> and if it's greater than, it's acute. So let's go and take a look. We only need to do it once, right? So I'll do it for right here. So I have 5 squared plus 8 squared and then less than 100 squared. So I have 25 plus 64, less than 100. 25 plus 64 is going to be 89, less than 100. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, what type of triangle do we have? Obtuse. Obtuse, there you go. And you guys can see, obviously, that works, right? 89 is less than 100. That's true, right? If you did it over here, it'd be 89 is greater than 100. And is that true? That's false, right? And here, obviously, 89 does not equal. 100. So you can see the only way it's true is when it's less than, which would make it true. OK? There you go. And that's it. Um, now, like I'd like to do, hold on real quick. Whoa, not none yet.